am, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, shapes, colors, sizes, and creeds. The sun is up. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm coming I'm uh, Cone Follow Bay. I'm walking. This is Island Mountain Pat with a hot cup of coffee hosting this program. I'm going for a walk. I am going for a walk. I am going for a walk up that hill and all the way back to my house, which is about it's going to take me at least 30 minutes, if not 40 minutes. Here we go. I'll, uh, I'll turn it on and off sporadically like every 5 or 10 minutes. Bye. Island Mountain Pat recording and reporting. Breaking news. I don't see any Al-Qaeda. I don't see any terrorists. I don't see any house fires. I don't see any bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic. I don't have any mayors ODing on prescription medication or the children of presidents uh, having mental breakdowns or car commercials or roofing commercials. I'm just up here overlooking the lake walking home and it's beautiful. Breaking news. Beautiful sunny weather. Oh yeah, I don't see any chemtrails. Oh, maybe there's chemtrails. Maybe not. But Center Hill Lake, there's a marina. I see two marinas in the distance and I am walking. The adventure. Island Mountain Pat adventure. Walk continues. Stay tuned. This is where I'm headed, right through there. I just come from, well, that way. A cop, a cop pulled me over. I'm walking with my coffee. He says, where are you headed? I said, home. He says, where do you live? And I said, Long Branch Road. He asked the specific address. I told him, he said, where are you, head where are you coming from? And I said, my lady friends. And uh, he said, do you have any weapons on you? I said, no, got my wallet and my video camera. I'm getting some exercise, walking. And uh, <laughs> and uh, after I told him a few things, and I got my camera, I'm making a YouTube video, then he kind of lightened up. He kind of kind of eased his posture, posturing a little bit. But um, anyway, it was all cool. I told him I, I don't get the motivation too often to make this walk all the way to home, and I'm enjoying it, making a YouTube video, my adventure walk video. Island Mountain Pat style. Here we go. You never know what's going to be next. I might find a, a bear on the side of the road. You never know. Incidentally, this piece of property right here that uh, I'm, I'm walking alongside is for sale. This piece right here. It is 50 acres. It borders Center Hill Marina and has lake views. It's a nice piece of property. Somebody wanted to build a nice uh, nice house, nice cabin, have all that land around you to buffer you. It's for sale for about 700000 The guy was asking $3 million. Rewind back to the police story. He said, one of the things I forgot to tell you is, um, he said, do you need a ride home? And I said, no, 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 I'm enjoying this walk. Let me check. Here I am enjoying life every step of the way enjoying my walk every step of the way some little cane it's like uh bamboo it's cane that's why they named the caney fork river cane because it has a lot of cane cane fishing poles that's it that's 50 acres i was telling you about there's the old house my old buddy used to live he was 90 passed away they had a huge auction comes with this barn over here nice little barn boy he was a pack rat let me tell you i didn't know he had so much stuff he was an interesting old codger i'll tell you what worked for the government most of his life here's a sign if you call on this use my name because i want to i want a little slice of the pizza okay a little finder's fee or something see that there it is folks now, I'm going to continue walking. I'm going to tell you about another deal. And then some more updates on my my adventure walk here. Um, there is a church for sale on my road. 
it's two buildings totaling at least 4,000 square feet. It's a couple acres. It's got city water now. And uh, it could be a cool, cool residence. You can probably get it for under 100000 right now. The buildings are nice. Nice metal roofs. They're all sided. Windows, the whole deal. They got bathrooms. All, all the deep, everything, you know, heat, air, the whole deal. Hundred grand, couple acres out in the middle of nowhere, an hour east of Nashville. It's down there, actually. Now, shortly, in about five minutes, I am going to be approaching some German shepherds. And uh, I might film this fiasco because they might take off my leg. <laughs> Because uh, they normally have a little electric fence going around them, and uh, but it's it hasn't been up lately. A little electric fence, and their little sensor is not working. But anyway, I'll film that when I get there. I could have a confrontation on my hands, and it could be very interesting for YouTube. I'm approaching the exit now of Center Hill Marina. I just sold their boat. One of the owners boats uh i i sold their last rental house boat too surprisingly this house right here could be bought as well it's at the entrance of the marina i'll give you the uh, phone number on that too since i'm there if this house was cleaned up painted blue two shades of lighter colors put a little boat out here with some flowers in it some uh, rope nautical theme parking lot put a a uh, little porch patio with a some uh, rocker swings and stuff in there this would be a nice little place here's the contact it's been for sale for a while you could get it for a good price all right tell them pat riley sent you there's the front you can see water right through there here we go look at this since i'm i'm filming live Actually, Ronnie Millsap used to live right up there. He had a hell of a view of the lake, but he couldn't see it, of course. But uh, that's true. Um, let me just get this since I'm out here, and there's no ticks and chiggers. Look at that, folks. Who's that? Who is that? Who is that guy? Island Mountain Pat Riley. Oh, you got to love it. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Something like that. Anywho, I'm heading down into the holler now. So stay tuned. We're going to pass the German Shepherds shortly. And uh, they're logging another 50-acre parcel next to me. It was just sold off by... Look at the shadow! One set of footprints. That's when God carried me. Off the side of the road here, and uh, there's trash. It's heating and air conditioning ducts tossed, tossed off the side of the road. I'm not too happy about that kind of crap. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Maybe someday I'll come and pick it up. Look at this big old beautiful tree. God to love it. God to love it. Yeah, big old tree in me. I'm approaching the logging operation and the German shepherds. I'm going to get some footage. They're going to freak. They're going to think I'm from uh, the uh, Sierra Club or the Arbor Foundation. <laughs> I'm not opposed to logging. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. I am kind of opposed to clear cutting in a big way. Buying a piece of land, raping it, and then moving on. Okay, good boy. It's okay. It's okay. No. Good boy. I hope I hope my leg don't come off. Look at that. Look at there's a logging truck down there. Fifty acres. I hope they don't clear cut it. I gotta go have a little talk with these guys just because I can. Well, I still got my leg. Lo and behold, I am. It'll be a cool part of my walk.
Check it. Check it out. Look at look at these guys. These guys I'm talking to drive the logging trucks for a living. <laughs> I'd like to find out if they're going to clear cut this or not. They're not going to clear it. Select cut. I love it. We got a little. We got a little snag in the operation. Uh, log got a little too big. Broke the broke the little uh, the the uh, well whatever that thing is. It's a restraint for the log so they don't slide into the big truck. Pretty wild logging operation. Here I am. Part of the gang here. I'm gonna keep my walk going in just a few minutes. Free, free firewood right there. I'm going to be heading out here in just a minute. Keep patient. Not every day you see a logging operation here in Middle Tennessee. So the two logging trucks. I just gathered uh, each truck load is about five grand. A lot of that wood was poplar. It's a black walnut, hickory, oak. This is the property. It'll probably go up for sale after they're done select cutting it. But uh, here's the deal. I'll give you a little education. The guy paid about 150,000 or less for this, 140, 50 acres. Got a hell of a deal. He'll make a he'll make 150 in timber and resell it for at least 150 because he got a steal of a deal. Anyway, I'm walking home. Reporting, Eyewitness News. I'm still walking. I finished my coffee and uh, thinking about getting some spring water to drink, some real water. Got my coffee cup here, which is empty, and I just happen to know where there's a spring. And I'm going to cross the barbed wire and uh, kind of ease on into this little zone over here. Grab me a cup of water. It's going to be a little interesting. It's not that deep here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, I see a rock I can step onto. Not that much water in here, but I know this water source has been here for a long time. There's a pump house. I used to live on this property incidentally and uh, used to get my water for coffee and drinking right from here check it out now ladies and gentlemen boys and girls don't do this at home don't do this at home because you need fluoride you need fluoride you need treated chlorinated fluorinated and other treatment treatment things do not do this at home I'm going to drink it. Listen. The cup is empty. I just drank some spraying water. Do not do this at home. Do not do this in the city. Do not do this in most parts of the world. Well, I'm sure there's some remote places that... Don't have factories and chemical plants discharging chemical compounds from Dow Corning and Dow Chemical and GM and Toyota and Nissan and all that other stuff. Anyway, here we go. Got a cup of water. Uh, burp. Oops. Excuse me. Thank you very much. In that in that little uh, area, there is a bunch of watercress. Watercress is good in salads and stuff. It's got a peppery flavor, and I'll show you some of that watercress right over here. It's kind of interesting. Look at that. Somebody threw a beer can in there. But that, my friends, is watercress all through here. And mint grows wild around here as well. I've harvested some mint. And there's some fish in here. I know you can't see it, but uh, there are fish in there, little fish. Sometimes there's even been known to have some trout in this creek. Anywho, I'm going to keep heading for home. I'm only about a quarter mile away from home. If you see that mountain in the distance, mini mountain anyway, foothill, uh, that's, that's Island Mountain Pat. In your yard, get home right now. Get. Get out of there. Go on. Go home. 
Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. You know what that is? There's a hunting bee nest in there. The possums or skunk or something got that got in that hole. Go on home. Get in your yard. Go home. No. Ah! I don't want those dogs following me. I don't want them over at my property all the time. You got to be hard with those dogs. Get home. Get in your yard right now. Go on. Get you get home now. Get 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 get. Go on. Get. See? I don't like doing that, but you gotta let them know it ain't cool. Don't want them wandering around my freaking house all the time, you know? Thinking that their new place to chill. Walking home, got my uh, spring water, and uh, I'm in the final stretch, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's been a good walk. It's chilly here in the shade. It's probably closer to well, 45 right here now, but uh, it's been a good walk, very interesting, a lot of birds, big, big flock of uh, robins have come through when this cold weather snap came in, I think they hang out by the lake, because it's warmer along the lake, and uh, the robins, see up in this uh, cedar tree, they eat the little seeds, these little berries of sorts, they're seeds, out of these cedar trees while they're migrating to and from wherever to wherever. But yesterday I saw two flocks of geese, which was kind of interesting. I love seeing those big V's in the sky with the, um, you know, the birds flying. It's so cool. Anywho, I'm getting close to the Riley Ranch Health Club Retreat Center. 18 hole golf course complete with Olympic size swimming pool, 24 hour massage with the capital M. Jacuzzi, cold plunge, trout fishing stream, airport for the Island Mountain Pat Lear jet and helicopter pad. I am approaching fast. There's some uh, turkey vultures up there swarming for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Sometimes that's a sign of a dead. And I'm getting, I'm getting out of here! Get home! Now! Hey! Ah! Hey! Go! You get in your yard right now! Get home! Right now! Go on! Go on home! Get home! Go on! Go home! Get! 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 No! Get out of there! Go home! No! Get! No! Sorry. Wildlife. Jesus. I just chased a wear oh, yeah, black grizzly bear. <laughs> black grizzly bear. I don't even know if there is such a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, my walk is about to close. I'm going to shut the lights off. Thank you for... Get out of here! Go on home! Now! You get out of here right now! Get out of here right now! Go on! Hey! Get out of here! Get, get, get! Go on! Get out of here! Ah! Get out of here! Go on! No! Damn dogs. Yeah. Island Mountain Pat. Island Mountain Pat. Riley's Ranch. Those dogs are still... Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Look at that. Those damn dogs. Get in your yard. Go home. Go home. At last, I'm in the rocking chair. If everybody could just be in the rocking chair, the world would be just peaceful and rocking out. What a concept, huh? Is it possible for people to just chill and be in a rocking chair? Work some, play some, sit in a rocking chair some. Over and out. Peace.